Well, um, the other side of the coin was more interesting, but still low faith, but it took me, um, until just before the merge to get, um, faith in Ghost Island. So I need to be fair and give them about that amount of time. Uh-huh. Um, nice challenge, and I was totally amazed at just how much, uh, trouble purple had with that ladder bit granted um the water seemed to be deeper at that point than it appeared to be and it, they are on sand so theoretically that should help but she's still falling over a body length and i think the general consensus is if you're falling above a body length that really ups the risk of injury hmm Because Jeff mentioned in his Q&A that his heart was pounding the whole time, both times Molly fell there. I was a little surprised that they voted her out instead of the um, black guy Jamal, I think his name is, like Slumdog Millionaire. But, um, I guess they had their reasons and I could have read into um, a little bit more that happened with Tommy and then a Jason and that other chick, Revenge of the Nerds business, because I could tell that there was a dynamic shifting there, just too many people to keep track of, and so little time to put everything in there. Mm hmm Um, and I also can't help but feel like, um, something is going to happen on that Unpurple tribe, because they definitely do seem to be more confrontational, so I can't help but feel like something that was going to snap, and I don't really know what that is. Could it be, um, Susan, I think her name is, going off, Jamal exploding, Dan getting too touchy-feely again? Because that was kind of odd. Uh, I mean, like, that has been mentioned before on reality shows at least, Big Brother Free US, uh, Survivor Thailand, but that genuinely seemed to be an accident, just with an overreaction, and then arguably All-Stars, but if you watch um, Richard Hatch's version of an explanation, it actually makes far more sense than what was shown on the um, edits, because why would Sue not take the beam that keeps bringing her closer to her tribe, why is she saying that she wants the other one, which technically brings her closer to the other tribe, and if you really think about it, both of those beams should be the same length. Width, I mean. Hmm? Right. So that whole thing doesn't really make that much sense. Um, yeah. Something's gonna happen, I think. And then we've got um, Rob and Sandra's little um, bits with um, uh, Kelly or something like that, because that's a really weird, weird way of spelling Kelly. Like, <laughs> just at first I'm like, okay, why are they going on and on and on about all these trivia bits? But then while Rob's describing, I think, his and Sandra's kids, Sandra starts mentioning something that is totally unrelated to, well, when she got here, we wanted to break her in before we swing the challenge on her, and instead, uh, she says something completely different, and the moment she started saying that, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I know what's going on. <laughs> Although, to um, be fair, um... It's kind of ridiculous that they had it be four out of five questions, right? Uh, you don't do four out of five for, like, anything unless you're offering a huge reward, okay? You started with three out of five for a sensible, um, choice situation. You only go four out of five if you're gonna up the reward. Uh, huh? Right. Everyone would be stupid to go for a 4 out of 5 bit unless you're super desperate for an idol. Hmm. Okay, and and given how it seems like there's idols on the individual tribes, it's going to be interesting to see how many idols are 
here. Now, granted, first they have to win the idol, and then the terms have to be agreed on. And uh, Robin Sandra seem to have perfectly free reign to make whatever terms that they feel like. So theoretically, I can see there being like five idols at a given time, but three of them would only be applicable, or possibly two, for just a couple tribal. So that eliminates that, but it's still a little um, over the top, and I would really hope that production does a good job of making sure they know um, which idol is um, hidden where and all that business. So it looks like we're going to get a bunch of idols, but hopefully nothing else unless it's another Nola fire, because I don't mind the Nola fire, but I do think I'm starting to get into the club now of if you've got free idols and then you start throwing in the extra vote and steal a vote, it's becoming a bit much. Okay, um... Not that else to uh, mention here. Yeah, low faith, only reason I'm continuing is to see Rob and Sandra drop comments here and there, but now I'm starting to think that there's actually a decent possibility that at the end of the season they'll um, cast a vote, because in my mind it just doesn't make sense for them to be watching everyone at Tribal Council if they're not going to end up doing that. Now the argument is, well maybe, well we want you, well the argument most likely is producers are saying they should want to see how their influence goes into the actual game. True, but I don't know. I just don't know. And I know for a fact that they um, are build, they had to build a shelter, though it seems like they have a natural shelter of their own according to Dalton Ross's um, Q&A and Rob is catching food for them, but I can't help but feel that they're probably being given food on the side as well, because granted they did say that we want to walk the walk, and it's much easier to catch food for two people, because now you catch free fish, it's a fish and a half for you. That's pretty good, all things considered, but why would they want to go through losing 10 plus pounds each with no real benefit. Especially since since next season is the all-winners season, I'd, it stands to reason that they try and do bring back one of them, but they might not know the next season is all-winners. Actually, that would make a little bit more sense. Hmm. And Rob did say that he didn't want to play again after Redemption Island. Okay. We'll see.